Hey guys, I'm Caleb Giddings here for Gat Daily. And the first thing I'd like to do with this video is apologize for my backdrop because as you can tell, we are in the process of moving into our new place. And that means I'm in the process of getting a new studio, a new office set up. But I wanted to get this video out today because today we're talking about something that's important to everyone who carries a gun concealed holsters. Specifically, we are talking about holsters for fighting revolvers. Everyone knows that I am a degenerate revolver enthusiast, and that's why the holsters that I use to carry my guns with are especially important to me. Now, we've got three kinds of revolvers that people carry. We have holsters for small concealable revolvers like your Ruger LCR and your Smith & Wesson J-Frame. You've got your mid-sized revolvers like the Ruger GP100 or the Smith & Wesson K or L frames. And last but not least, you have holsters for your big like hunting revolvers, guns that you want to carry if you're going bear hunting or something like that. We're not going to cover your outdoorsman hunting holsters today because that's not really germane to the content of this video. What we are going to cover are holsters for concealed carry revolvers. And we're starting with the small revolvers. And for small revolvers, there is one brand of holster that I love more than anything. All of my small revolvers, whether they're Smith & Wesson J-Frames or Ruger LCRs, I carry in one brand of holster. That is the Dark Star Gear Apollo holster. The owner of Dark Star Gear is a friend of mine, just to get that out of the way, but he also makes an excellent small revolver holster. So here's why the Apollo is great. First off, it is a very slim profile. Even for a revolver, which normally can be a little bit more difficult to conceal because of the cylinder bulge, with the Apollo, you have a very slim profile that fits very nicely in a belt, in gym shorts, in things that don't have belts on them. You can carry with this holster in almost any configuration, thanks in no small part to the DCC spring steel clip. This clip is great. It has a little lip on the inside that locks into like the band of sweatpants or something like that so that you can use this holster with everything. And that's my solution for small guns. That's, that's it right there. Dark Star Gear Apollo. I also recommend the City Special by Filster because it has some unique features that I like. I don't think you can go wrong with either one of those. I fell onto the Apollo first, and I think for my use case, the Apollo works better for what I need it to do, which is why I recommend it. But again, you're not going to go wrong with the City Special by Filster either. Now, for medium frame revolvers, we get away from Dark Star Gear and Filster, and we move into... JM Custom Kydex. This is a Ruger GP100. It is a three inch 10 mil. This is the gun that I have been carrying for months and months now. I drove across the country with this gun in this exact holster. This is the JM Custom Kydex AIWB holster. You'll note that it has a bulge here that acts almost as a wing, which helps rotate the holster into my body. Now this one I have set up with pull the dot loops so you can't rip the holster off of my body and a very slim muzzle pad. This muzzle pad flattens out that cylinder bolt so it gives the holster a clean line all the way across my body. It doesn't rotate in, which is a problem that you have with a lot of revolver holsters. Because of the cylinder bulge, when you're carrying an AIWB, the gun wants to rotate in towards the muzzle. This flat muzzle pad prevents that. I really like JM Custom Kydex holsters. I'm not sponsored by JM Custom Kydex. I have paid actual cash money for all of my JM Custom Kydex holsters, and I strongly recommend them. You can have them in this carbon fiber red color, or you can have them in basic black. There's a lot of different colors that you have. I like JM Custom Kydex holsters so much that when it came time to have a holster built for the modern fighting revolver, they were the first people that I called which resulted in this monstrosity, which surprisingly is actually concealable. So let's walk you through the last of this modern fighting revolver holsters that we have set up and talk about the features on this JM Custom Kydex holster. 
So because it was built for a Smith & Wesson L-frame, which is the largest of the medium frame revolvers, we needed to make it a little bit bigger. And because we had to cut it for a red dot mount, it wouldn't work with the bulge on the other one. So this is their AIWB 2.0 holster from JM Custom Kydex. And you can see it has a wing claw that helps keep the gun rotated into my body. And again, we have a pad on it. This time we've gone with a much more aggressive pad because the modern fighting revolver that we've built tends to be a little butt heavy. The grips are heavy, the optic adds weight, so this gun really wants to rotate in at the muzzle and this huge pad keeps it from doing that. It actually keeps the gun pointed this way and then that wing helps tuck it in to my body in a really, really efficient way. It uses two DCC spring steel clips as opposed to belt loops. This is actually a much better setup for retaining the gun in a specific position. I found that the heavier the gun, the more I want something like these spring steel clips instead of pull the dot loops because I really don't want the gun to rotate. So to review, what are the holsters that I pick for carry revolvers? Dark Star Gear Apollo for small guns. City, the Filster City Special also works great for small guns. And then for medium size and up, we're going to go with JM Custom Kydex for our medium framed revolvers. Now, we may do a video in the future about large frame revolvers, but probably not because it's a completely different use case outside of the scope of what we're talking about. I'm Caleb Giddings. Thanks for watching.